It's time now for TNT Fleer Card Talk, starring John Taddeo and Ted Taylor. Hi, this is John Taddeo here with Ted Taylor at the Retailer Trade Show. Hey, it's great to be here, John. Tonight we're going to talk about Fleer trading cards and the exciting things that are happening in sports and entertainment. But before we tell our friends what we have planned, let's take time out for this word from Fleer. How did we improve on last season's best basketball cards? We gave them the same super glossy UV treatment, then added even more gold foil stamping. We dramatically improved the backs and set new standards for limited edition insert sets with more intense action. Higher impact design. Electrifying graphics. And foil stamping on both sides. 93-94 Blair Ultra. Proof. You still can't buy a better basketball card. We're back on TNT Fleer Car Talk. Before we talk about what's available today, Ted, why don't you talk about the 1994 Fleer sports cards currently on the market? We began the new year with Fleer Baseball, and with it returned to the one series concept and introduced the idea of one insert card in every pack. American League Rookie of the Year Tim Salmon was our signature series star of a 12 card set. Additional highlights of the 93-94 Fleer Baseball cards included Gold foil stamping and high gloss UV coating on the front and back of every card. A total of 12 limited edition insert sets, the most FLIR has ever included in one trading card series. And bigger color enhanced photos and full player stats and commentary. FLIR Ultra Hockey's second series of 250 cards was released in mid-February and while the set complemented the popular first series, it also had several new features designed to capture the interest of collectors. For example, there was one insert card per pack and a total of 60 insert cards in the set. Collectors with an eye toward the future also wanted to complete both the Team USA and Team Canada sets, which were included in the basic set. FLIR's second series of NBA basketball cards came out in late February, and in addition to the basic 160 card set, collectors had an extra 76 insert cards to pursue. While the second series maintained a unique Dayglow graphic design, a new wrinkle was added with the inclusion of one insert card in every pack. Six metalized insert cards entitled Living Legends became a hot collector's item with its roster of basketball immortals. Other insert sets included 10 first-year phenoms, 10 sharpshooters, 20 NBA superstars, and 30 Towers of Power. Ultra Baseball's first series of 300 cards hit the stores running in early March, and the brand new four photo design with gold foil stamping front and back and larger color enhanced photography caught the fancy of collectors. Featuring Darren Dalton and John Cruck in a Philly's finest insert set, a total of six insert series, one insert card per pack really caught on fast. A 240 card set of Fleer 1993-94 NHL Power Play hockey cards was released in late March, completing the return of tall boy hockey to the collecting world. A full 35% larger than the traditional hockey card, Power Play is UV coated on both sides and features large color enhanced photos front and back. Okay John, that's the scoop on the early 94 sports products. Before we get some information from you about Fleer's entertainment cards that have the whole industry talking, Let's pause here for a word from our sponsor. Welcome to the Fleer Ultra Baseball Factory Tour. This year, we're putting gold foil stamping on both sides. Plus, more color enhanced action on our all new three photo backs. Fasten your seatbelts. Yeah! There's UV coating on both sides too. And we're in your face with incredible inserts featuring superstars and hot rookies. There's one insert card in every pack. 94 Clear Ultra Baseball, better than ever. To understand why Fleer Entertainment cards are the hit of the marketplace, we need to talk a bit about both the X-Men and Spider-Man products. The hottest name in premium sports cards became the hottest name in premium entertainment cards with the unbeatable combination of the undisputed number one comic family and the number one card brand, X-Men and Fleer Ultra. X-Men have been the number one character family in the comic industry for over 10 years running and are now a top rated TV show, video game, and the subject of the current best-selling line of comic-based action figures. Fleer's Ultra X-Men captures all the adventure, excitement, and attitude that is Marvel Comics X-Men. Ultra treatments such as superior cardstock, the sharpest printing, 
glossy UV coating on both sides, and the added sparkle of gold foil stamping help make X-Men Ultra the most popular non-sports set of all time. Nipping at the heels of Ultra X-Men, still capturing the hearts of collectors is everyone's favorite wall crawler, Spider-Man, and his entire family of characters, appearing in a 150 card set by renowned Spider-Man artist Mark Bagley. This premier Marvel Cards brand release featured top quality, state-of-the-art production, exciting innovative graphics, and original Bagley artwork on both sides. In addition, there are two innovative bonus sets featuring unique new technologies. Six suspended animation Cell cards printed on plastic, and three state-of-the-art hologram cards randomly inserted in the packs. That's how we began the year, Ted. How about a look at what's happening now? we Will do, John. But first, let's take time out for this brief message. Welcome to the third annual Fleer NBA Championship game. Here's the tip-off. Williams controls to Ainge. Ainge bounces it into Aguirre. He spins it away. Behind the back to Ewing. He's up, up, and away. And jams it from three-point land. The bench goes wild. It's rock and roll time. Six seconds left. Jackson inbounds to Shaquille at midcourt. The alley-oop to Minor. What a super pass to Wilkins with the monster jam. That's the game. Now here's the wrap-up. Fleer, a game in every pack. We're back and ready to take a look at what's hot right now on the Fleer sports card scene. As I look around the crowd tonight, I see a lot of sports fans. And to tell them that Fleer Ultra 2 basketball has been hot since it came out in early April is probably not necessary. Collectors love Series 2 cards because it includes 52 of pro basketball's top newcomers and numerous veteran players in the uniforms of their new clubs. In addition to the rookies and traded vets, they also flipped over a 12-card subset featuring the USA basketball team and six limited edition insert sets. The basic set itself includes 175 all-new cards. On the subject of Red Hot, Fleer and MTV team up to bring the direct market more of everyone's favorite misfit morons, Beavis and Butthead. No! <laughs> Cut it out, Beavis. This was the coveted license of the year, and it clearly told the world that if it's hot, Fleer is going to get it. The market was literally screaming for this card set, a huge follow-up to the best-selling Beavis and Butthead Marvel comic. Beavis and Butthead are featured on 150 cards in the basic set. Art was taken from actual series animation cells, from the best-selling MTV Beavis and Butthead This Book Sucks. That sucks. <laughs> the set also includes all new original art and text from the series creative team. The full bleed cards will be foil stamped on the front, UV coated both sides, and feature six color printing. Two exciting insert series contain both scratch and sniff and rub off features produced with the latest available technology. If you can believe it, it gets even more exciting than this, Ted. But before we move on and explain what the future holds, let's pause for a brief announcement. For 94 Flair Baseball, it's a whole new ball game with even more quality and collectability. We've got a hot new look with gold foil stamping on each card and UV coating on both sides. We're covering all the bases with 11 new insert sets, seated one card per pack, and we're bringing home extra excitement with the all-rookie team exchange card. It's one unbelievable card set. 1994 Flair Baseball, a game in every pack. We're back again and ready to take a quick look at what's on the horizon in sports and entertainment cards. A late May release, the second series of 1994 Fleer Ultra Baseball has collectors excited about this 300 card edition. It includes close to 100 rookie cards as well as recently traded players and veterans not included in the first series. Also included with the second series will be 10 more Philly's finest highlight cards featuring John Cruck and Darren Dalton with seven different specially designed limited edition insert sets, this time with one insert card included in every pack. Los Angeles Rams rookie running back sensation Jerome Bettis will be featured on a 12 card Rookie of the Year highlight series in the new 1994 Fleer football set to be released in early June. Card quality of the basic 480 card set has been significantly improved with all cards UV coated, gold foil stamp, and featuring a unique three photo autographed card design. In addition to the Bettis insert set, there will be seven other insert sets totaling 100 cards. There will be one insert card in every pack, and here's some really big news. There will be a Fleer hot pack 
made up completely of insert cards, seated one in every 72 packs. An all-rookie set exchange card will be the most scarce card in the set, and it will be redeemable for 12 94 season rookies who will be pictured in their NFL uniforms. Our major announcement of the evening is FLIR 1994 USA Basketball. To be issued this summer as part of our upscale FLIR series, this product will be extremely limited. The FLIR FLIR USA Basketball issue will include eight cards of each of the 13 players, two cards of each of the four coaches, and a pair of checklist cards which, when placed together, will form a team picture. As an exclusive addition to this set, there will also be six cards featuring some of the best women who have played or coached on USA basketball teams in the past. Fleer's Flair line, which was introduced last fall, features the highest quality cards on the market, 24-point board, three points of lamination on each side, limited production, two photos on the front, foil stamping on both sides of the card, and a third photo on the card back. The photos are color enhanced and reproduced in a six color format, not normally utilized in trading cards. And speaking of flair, John, that brings us to your latest product. The eagerly awaited Flair Marvel 94 stands ready to hit stores June 15th. This new 150 card collection combines vibrant, exciting graphics developed exclusively for Flair with the premium quality associated with the Flair brand. Cards feature striking computer colorization of original Marvel artwork by the greatest names in comic book history. Flare Art is Hyper Reality, Laser Blast, Shattering Glass, Blazing Fires, Plasm Explosions. Flare captures the most memorable events and scenes from the past 35 years of Marvel history and takes them to the 21st century. The 150 card set consists of 30 cards featuring classic Marvel artwork. 105 event cards chronicling Marvel's history, a 6-card Maximum Carnage subset and 9-card Mutant Genesis subset. An 18-card Limited Edition Power Blast subset is randomly inserted throughout boxes at a rate of 1 per 2 packs. That's exciting news and a great way to wrap up this look at FLIR trading cards. It's great to be here and to talk about our favorite subjects. I want to join you in saying thanks to our hosts and thanks also to all of you in our audience for your continued support. So for Fleer, I'm Ted Taylor. And I'm John Taddeo. Good night, everyone. <laughs>